Hello and welcome to Flag Therian. Today we're going to have a brief look at the latest update, Star Citizen, the targeting update. I'll show you the difference between gamepad and keyboard in regards to the look functionality and the zoom functionality. Alright, let's get started. Welcome back. As part of the update, they've doubled the size of the fields and moved on to 64-bit. Now I'm going to teach you how to uh, use the look function and the zoom function. So first you want to find your target. So this Vandal Swarm, these guys here. Uh, so for you press R or whatever your targeting button is depending on your keyboard preset. You just target them and you'll see this little reticle come up. Now you want to line up the little... Uh, so you want to line up the little, little circle. Uh, that's got a line coming off it and whatnot. Alright, let's find this target. Alright, so here we go. See the little circle goes red when you're gonna miss and green when you're gonna hit. So you wanna line that little circle up and that's how you hit them. Now to use the look functionality, you gotta line up with your target or have them at least in your view and press L. And the computer will take over and start tracking him. Now all you have to do is keep him in sight and the computer will continue to turn your, your character's head for you to continuously look at your target. As you can see, all I have to do is sort of move the mouse a bit to help out the computer, but otherwise the computer is moving my head to uh, keep the target in sight. Now if you find it's not really working, see my head's turning to the side. Now if you lose contact, so I'll lose contact, you'll, the circle will undotify, that's <laughs> the best way to explain it. All you have to do is look back at him, press L again. And the computer will take over zooming and following and all that jazz. See, he's out of range for me, so I should turn up, get closer, or whatever. I don't really like it, it's a bit unresponsive on the keyboard and mouse. See? My ship's turning away from me, so I think that might be a glitch. I don't really know. Uh, and now on to the zoom functionality. So on keyboard it is square brackets. So you can zoom in real close and that allows you pinpoint control and accuracy. It gets a bit eh the keyboard and mouse because your mouse sensitive depending on your mouse sensitivity. I think mine's probably too high at the moment. Uh, but it does allow you to pinpoint parts of the ship. Though on the single man fighters I don't really see the point. When it comes to uh, multi crew ships and the bigger ships I reckon it'll be epic because you will actually be able to target engines and things because you'll be able to see them properly. But otherwise I don't see much of the point for the single man fighters. So that's, that's zoom and your square brackets control that. Now we'll move on to uh, gamepad. Now I'm not real good at the gamepad as I predominantly use keyboard and mouse, but this the new targeting system significantly increases enjoyability level uh, for the gamepad. Oh, a bit messy there. So we're just flying away for a bit. Alright, so on your gamepad, uh, your joystick, you'll probably have to assign a, uh, a button for it. Uh, but on your gamepad, it is your right thumbstick button is the equivalent to L on the keyboard. And your zoom functionality on the default setup will be left trigger and D-pad up and down. So it'll look like that, same as always and I accidentally turned off my safeties Oops. so I'll show you how L so here's our target works much better on the gamepad I'd say I've lost him already 
Oops. Too worried about my speed. Alright, there he is. See, it follows much easier on the gamepad. Much nicer, much smoother. I don't think it has the weird glitch the keyboard does. Because it seems to be when he gets to a certain point, the ship go flies away from your target. While the gamepad doesn't seem to have that glitch, which makes, you know, life easier. So now we're locking on to our new target. So yeah, today's the first day of his gamepad, so please forgive. See, at that point on keyboard and mouse, the ship would have just flown way away. It would have been horrific. There we go. So this, this makes everything better. Even now all the Hornet players on joystick and mouse can shut up because they don't know anything. At least I'm trying to try out all inputs. I don't have a joystick or mouse, but at least I'm trying to try out all inputs before I get my verdict. So, there you go. It's auto-following. It's nice and smooth. I think Sync's done a really good job. Really nice. Could use tweaking. Again, there's a glitch, uh, there's a glitch on the keyboard, but otherwise I think that's good. Now, also in the update, uh, the M50's been nerfed and in non, like, increased in power at the same time. You can no longer outrun missiles. Uh, you will be hit by them, so use your flares, guys, if you're in an M50. Um, turning speed and acceleration has also been increased. I'm not getting a new wave. Obviously, my game's glitched out. Uh, oh, never mind. Ah, that field size has been increased. Things disappear. But these are the two main cool things. Actually, I'll show you zooming. There you go. There's some zoom. It's really finicky now. But that's what you'd want on a bigger ship. Should slow down. It's nice that they've kept the speed there. So, ugh, got really fine control, which isn't real great on the gamepad because I don't think he, they've allowed the sensitivity changing on the gamepad yet. Ugh. But there you go, that's how it is. So thanks for watching, that's my quick little tutorial on uh, the new targeting system and whatnot. So hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video, or in the verse. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe.